big hit yep. there. Yep. Yeah, I went through that. Oh, it slowed down when I first went in it, but yeah, I pretty much went through all of my time. The ones that I kill you know, weren't too terrible. Yeah. Some of it may have drifted back in, but. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of, like that, it kind of slowed down a little bit, not bad, yeah, like, like this here. when I uh, engaged in full four-wheel drive. You did, right? It did. Well, then auto, and then uh, probably when it hit the snow, it probably engaged itself. It's like it slowed down when we got into it, and about a quarter way in, I'm assuming the four-wheel drive kicked in full, and it was like nothing. It was like nothing afterwards. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's the only thing keeping this open is the fact that people are driving through. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of slowed down like that. I think this is lower to the ground slightly than the truck is. Yep, my hips would agree with you. Mm -hmm.
be really nice in the uh, summer. If, it, if, if it's a if it's a newer version, which I think that's a newer version, yeah. that's a crew cab. Yeah. Now in the year group for our mine, it would be called a mega cab. Yeah, yeah. But we used to call them six packs. So yeah. Yeah. You know. Three, yeah. Three, six, Skinny people. Yeah. Or you use a shoehorn to put six guy tops in your rear. That was one thing I was like, I, I, when I was sitting at the light, it's like, the truck's so big, I can't, I, 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 I can park in, in, in this side, and nobody's going to come on my other side, because nobody can get on the other side. four-wheel drive is the front axle is engaged but not is not needed unless it detects um, slip. slip and then it will transfer power to the slip to to the front wheels so with your wheels jump, yeah and then four high I guess or four lock is, locked. is four your your both of your wheels will be spinning same ratio, same ratio. I don't know if it locks the rear differential or not. Yeah, I don't know if it does I've that. Never but, used it, you know. Yeah. Now you have the you have the extra traction button thing. Well, that just shifts. Turn it off right yeah. Now. Only thing I have is turn off the electronic stabilization program, which the only reason you'd ever really want to do that is. Uh, uh, well, if you're, I think if you're rock crawling, yeah. or if you want, intentionally want to do spin out or burn out, yeah. for whatever reason anybody would want to do that, I don't know. Yeah. it's bad on your tires. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to get gas and other things? Where I'm trying okay. to go right now. Okay. It's going to be cold. Yeah, it's going to be really cold at night. Yeah. yeah. I might even wear my parking right on coffee. I'm not necessarily about the 20 some below, it's that wind chill of 50 below yeah. they were talking about. And, because I mean, 23 below is, is, is okay, it's cold, but I mean, if there's no wind, it's not too bad. That's no. the that's what we've got lucky with a lot of these times, is when we had to venture outside, it was 20, it was 20, 30 below, but there was like little to no wind. Now, that's a whole nother issue, if it's gonna be 20, 30 below, and have 50 mile an hour wind. Well, when I used to, tra I used to run on trap lines and other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 below was my drop dead start temperature. If it was below 30 below, yeah. John was going out. If it was 30 below or warmer, John was going out. Then by the time you got back, mm -hmm. it would be 40. Yeah, but you'd be wearing 40 below winter weather clothing, yeah, not, right. not, uh, no. not well, something yeah. that's good for. Maybe down to zero, and that's it. You had the, the wool thermals. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had everything. Yeah. All kinds of other stuff on. You burned on. You burned on. You you're not watching. You're not using these trail shoes that have mesh in them that has holes in them now. That easily allow all the heat to escape and all the cold air to get in. I don't think I'll do that again. Yeah. And that's what these are probably good for. They're like a trail shoe. They're good other than but they're not really good for winter for cold weather. No. And the mesh is starting to get holes in them, so even more air will come through. Yeah. 
I think something like that, or electronic type things. And he talked about something when he was back in high school, he used stuff with ham radio. I don't know, I don't think he was actually licensed, but I think he was using it. But I think he knows, I think he knows Keith. I think, I'm gonna know. I think he says he, he sold some stuff to Lynn. And maybe Joe, uh, I think just Lynn, I think. This guy kind of oh, They were showing this product I was watching on. Uh, they were selling on online. So one of the guys does a bunch of these YouTube deal things. The CB, CBD hemp oil. So it doesn't have the THC stuff in it, and it's supposedly it's got uh, it's got a few other things that are supposed to be good for you too. It's, it's, they're doing it as a as a um, pain reliever. It's a spray-on pain reliever which uses the CBD hemp oil, which apparently is legal, apparently, for what they say. I don't know for sure, but... Because it doesn't have the, doesn't have the THC B stuff. Bismarck B&B told him it was legal when they turned around and it wasn't. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. This is supposed to be a pain reliever stuff, that yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got muscle relaxant stuff it in there. Good stuff in it? Yeah. They said it's yeah, uh, good spray-on stuff for, like, if you have a knee pain or... Or, or stuff it's got like lavender also in it so it helps your keep your skin and everything else well that yeah, does this stuff doesn't have the THC no, stuff I'm not, in it I'm not I don't know I don't know either all I know is if it was helping people and they could well, I was, that, I, that, that's a well I'd be like you know if it's as good as everybody says it is and it's all legal then it shouldn't be, and it's a pain reliever. Shouldn't it be in a bottle next to the to the Walmart, aspirin? Yeah. Well, my thinking on this at Walmart, regardless of what it is, it shouldn't be a class yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a class three. Drug. I don't know. Yeah. Drug. Class one says it has no. Yeah. Use. None. Well, that's not right. Yeah. It has some use. Yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, it's just hogwash there. No. Could it, could it be just as bad as they said? What, cl what class is Motrin? Well, <laughs> Motrin's bad for you, too. Well, if you have a bad enough, yeah. Motrin really worked, though. Yeah. They used to give you Motrin, you'd get a six or 800 millimeter yeah. Motrin, and it would kill the pain. Yeah. They don't do that anymore. No. They used to hand that out like Unless it was candy. Unless you'd tie on all our aspirin or a well, leave or something. They used to hand that like it was candy to me. Hey, yeah. Oh, baby, oh, yeah, we can work that. Uh, they, learned, they learned a little bit, maybe. Oh, so, yeah. The, well, it's, it's like, you know, they used to allow you to buy Sudafed, too. Yeah. Which really helped if you had a runny nose. Well, it was good for some things, but then they didn't well, figure out a way to make yeah, sense. So, yeah.
Oh, Alan is a registered professional engineer at AVE Engineering. Engineer. Yeah, professional engineer. We don't mean to drive the Regist train. A registered professional engineer. Which means he's a smart dude. Yeah. So he's working for some engineering firm then? I guess, I, yeah, I guess. Okay. Process engineering and electrical engineering. I used to work for the city. I might not. So he's retired from no, the city? Let's see. Study electrical engineering and electrical... Study electrical and electrical engineering at NDSU. Studied uh, chemical engineering at University of North Dakota. Studied electrical engineering at the Air Force Institute for Technology. AFIT. Okay. Yeah. This is a smart dude, man. Yeah. You knew that already. And, and, and of course, he went to my eye, too. Well, like I said, About 78. we know he's a smart yeah. dude, but this now he's got paper to prove yeah. he's a smart yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's what we need another engineer in here. Yeah, electrical engineer. Yeah, yeah it might be real helpful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do you think about wires? <laughs> <laughs> 